So what do you do differently with the well-informed athlete? How do you structure this differently? Uh, how do you provide us the same service just a little differently to somebody who is coming in from YouTube, Google, they've seen all these other providers and that can be daunting to clinicians and that's a, it's a real thing. I think the first thing you need to do is figure out, create a list of everything they've ever done and tried. Put that on the left side of the, of the of a piece of paper or whiteboard. On the right hand side, create a target for them. Well, how fast do you want to get this better? So if they're like, well, I want to get better in a month and you know it's going to take a little longer i think you have to have that conversation first and outline why so if this is going to take eight weeks they tried all these things in between there there's a gap there's a variance in between what they are trying to achieve and what they've done already and what you need to do is figure out how you would progress it differently so you would add in maybe the band exercises from zero to two weeks you would do the cupping from two to four you would do the youtube exercises their thing stretches that they tried a little bit later you just need to organize it for them better what they've come to you with is tools you just know how to use those tools they don't and once you understand that you need to outline you're going to use this tool at this phase this tool at this phase and now they feel like you're not telling them that they're wrong they just did it differently or they didn't organize it as best as they could have and i think that's what they're trying to figure out they're trying to find somebody who understands them so if you can verbalize and convey that you get exactly where they're coming from that's going to help you step one to help them understand that you're here to help that you're here to solve their problem not their knee pain and that's a very different world and i think if you can start there your ability to keep people getting their results on your schedule, staying consistent, staying motivi- motivated and compliant, that is an art and that takes a lot from a clinician, especially in 2023. So use these tips. Good luck. Let me know if you have any questions.